Shouldn't be any noise coming out there. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Can you all see? Can you all hear me okay? Hopefully. I've, uh, since my last stream, I actually had to get basically a brand new computer and reinstall Windows on it. Plus bits. Hello, my first follower since I've been back. Streaming, thank you for joining us. I appreciate that. Hopefully the chat's working okay. I was just about to say that I've had to basically completely restart everything from scratch. I know the game uh, doesn't show the right thing yet, so let me go and change that first. Uh, everyone likes the words GB Homebrew. Let's just use that for now. So what we're going to do in today's stream, hopefully, if everything works properly, is check out this game right here. Oh, something else just happened, but I can't see yet. That one did not show up at all. So I'm still having some weird issues between Twitch and OBS. So maybe someone followed, maybe someone subscribed. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, please. I want to thank you for that. Anyway, let's just pop onto the camera and show you what we're checking out. First of all, this is by Broke Studio, a game called Lost Treasure Lima. Lost Treasure of Lima. And I also have this camera right here so we can read what's on the back of the box. The treasure of Lima is a legendary missing treasure reputedly uh, removed from Lima, Peru in 1820. Join adventurer Sebastian Madsen on an exciting quest to cross four levels, featuring environmental puzzles, exploration and race against the clock action sequences. Do you have what it takes to uncover the long lost treasure? Well, do we? Let's find out. Here's the game itself. Lovely bright yellow cartridge. See if we can get it out there. There we go. Very bright yellow. It says Broke Studio at the top, which is a nice little touch. I always like it when they do that. So hopefully now we can just pop this into the analog pocket and see whether it recognises the game first. There we go. Let's put that in the dock. Oh, there we go. How's that? It's not too loud. But... Sounds quite loud, but it's not too loud. Oh no, you got an advert right at the start of the stream? That's not good. Well, thank you for the follow. There's the sound. Do I need to turn the game down? Right? Do I need to turn me up a bit as well? Let's see. I want to make sure it sounds okay. Like I was saying at the start, I've completely rebuilt my computer and everything from scratch, so apologies if anything messes up. Yee, Magpie 1, you caught me right at the start too. Woo, let's go! We're checking out this game here. A brand new indie Game Boy game that was sent over to me by Broke Studio. So, enough talk, have at you! Let's put uh, OBS over there. I'm still not used to Windows 11. This window management is weird. And then if I put that on HDMI 1. There we go. Now we can see everything full screen. And how do I start? It doesn't crash on me, has it? Let's try that again. That's not a good start. Oh dear. That's not good. It's brand new. It shouldn't have any issues. Okay, it's working now. Get a bowl of cereal. What time is it where you are? Why is it not working? I don't have any other way of playing Game Boy games at the minute, so hopefully this doesn't keep happening. Uh, I don't know how to get back to the menu. Very true, cereal isn't any time of day snack. I agree with that. Oh, we're not getting anywhere with this. I tried it earlier to make sure everything works okay and it, uh, it seemed fine.
No, the control was not working. I don't know what's happened. Everything looks fine. Just getting an error screen now. Let's just do that anyway, even though it makes no difference. Just getting errors. Oh, sorry guys. Maybe we'll have to move on to something else. Let's give it one more try. That's really annoying. The other game they sent me as well. I'll pop up on camera for a second. They sent me another game as well. This one here for the NES. Called Steel Legion. And my NES isn't working either. So I can't play either of the games they sent me. And that is not doing anything. At all. There's nothing wrong with them. You probably can't see there. But they seem perfectly fine. They seem perfectly fine. Just to get an error screen. Maybe it's because it's not an official game, perhaps. I haven't got a ROM or anything, so I haven't got any other way of playing it either. So it's quite frustrating because they wanted me to make a video um, about these. As I got press copies, so it's not very good if I can't play them. That's not doing anything. Okay. We do have a backup. Hopefully the EverDrive works. No, nothing's working on there. I'll try resetting the whole system. Feel free to go away and make yourself some uh, some cereal while we're doing a bit of troubleshooting. Can't get anything to work on here at all. Great. Uh, I don't know what else to do. It was working for a whole second. Um, I haven't got anything else plugged in. I was planning to uh, to show you guys these new games. No, nothing's working. I do have some cleaning stuff for the contacts. So I'll give that a go. If the pins are all still facing the same direction, I don't know what it could be. Well, I can get the torch out. They all look good to me. Uh, you won't be able to see it on the camera. No. Um, I will go and get some Q-tips and I'll try cleaning them, maybe. That will make a difference. Uh, I'll be back in a second, maybe. Let's try and uh, let's go on the overhead camera so you guys can see. Let's see whether we can get this to work. So, put a little bit of this on here, only a little bit. Well, 
they do look brand new though. Like I think this camera focuses better. Like have a look at that. There's not any dirt on them pins whatsoever. But I'll try it anyway. There was a tiny little bit. Well, I don't think that would be an issue. And yeah, the pins on the pocket. Maybe the ones at the end are slightly. These two here are slightly pointed up, but it should be fine, right? Let's try. Hmm. Any ideas? Do those pins need adjusting? If you can see there. I don't know if I've got anything sharp enough to adjust them. Okay, I've tried pushing them all up as far as they can go. Uh, let's try... Let's go and get a normal Game Boy game. There we go. Just the first one I could find on the shelf, Tomb Raider. That's fine. Well, at least I know it's not the pocket that's broken then. So, let's try that again. Ready? Error! Maybe it's just something wrong with that cartridge. Um, I don't know what else to try. I could try it in the GameCube, maybe. Just uh, trying things on the fly. I don't know whether the GameCube's plugged in. Bear with me for a minute. Is it plugged in? No, it's not. I'm going to go back and BRB because the GameCube's not plugged in because I was playing it um, downstairs with some friends the other day. GB Operator, I don't have any of the software installed on this computer because I just rebooted everything. I got a fresh install so that would probably take too long and having to set up the desktop recording for the sound and stuff. Right, I'm going to try plugging in the GameCube and try it that way. BRB again. <laughs>
We might have something in a second, maybe. Yay, okay, we have gameplay. Sorry about that. I couldn't get Swiss to work either, so we're going to have to put up with the blurry Game Boy player on the GameCube. That's the best I can do, unfortunately. Oh, that's a very tight cable. Do, do I guess oh, I wasn't prepared to have to try and set something else up today okay we can play good good right let's put OBS back over there apologies for all the awkward intro today I didn't expect it to be like this right hopefully that's managed to fix everything and then we can get started, hopefully, if I don't pull the GameCube off the shelf with this cable that's too short. Hey, to the gates, uh, what are we up to? Well, we're checking out a new game that a developer sent over to me. So I need to uh, try and give this a go. I was trying to get it to work on the analog pocket, but it didn't work. So I had to go away and plug in the GameCube, but it seems like it's okay now. How's the sound? Is it all right? I feel like the game might be a little bit loud. Maybe that's just my headphones. Anyway, let's see what this game's about. Something about treasure hunting in the 1820s. In Cocoa Island off Costa Rica. Let's go. Treasure's never been recovered. Here we go. Let's go recover it. Oh, wow. Okay, that's uh, some weird graphics. I thought this was still part of the cutscene. 15 years ago. After years of studying the lost treasure of Lima, Sir Andrew Madsen draws ever closer to uncovering the resting place of the lost treasure. What is going on with these graphics? There's some weird tiling going on there. A oh, little splash noise when he goes in the water. very dark. I don't know whether that's the GameCube or the game itself. I think it's just the game. This would be impossible to see on an original Game Boy Color. And uh, very slippery controls as well. Okay, press down to use your rope. Uh, okay, that didn't work. What, really? That's it? Back to the title screen? Oh God. I came prepared tonight in case this was a bit painful. I have this <laughs> to ease the pain. And to the gate says, when are you going shopping for your dress? <laughs> it has to be Snow Miku 2024 dress, obviously. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, I finally plucked up the courage and proposed oh, on the weekend. 
I was so nervous and excited. So I'm so glad. Alright, let's get back into this. We can just skip all this out. Can we run? Yes we can, if we hold down the V button. Oh, thank you. I did take... Well, we, we've been away for the weekend as well on, on like a little breaks, I don't know what you call it, a holiday I guess, to a log cabin and it was it was really nice. We took the dog and uh, went on loads of nice walks. And I took my camera as well so I do actually have quite a bit of video so I was thinking of putting something on the second channel. Minus the proposal because it's too embarrassing. If you have an explosive, press down to set it. Oh, thank you everyone. Very kind of you. There's something I've been planning for years, so I'm so glad I finally did it. In a in a really nice place as well. I was waiting for the right opportunity. Press down to descend, or the A button to take the route. Have to be explosive. Okay, now we can go and put the explosive down on the other bit. And we can take the rope with us. Hey, thank you. What am I trying to blow up? Oh, okay, blow the wall up. You can't really tell what is and isn't interactive here. Stop turning to the door. It kind of feels weird streaming now because I haven't been streaming or doing any videos for like two weeks at this point because the weekend before and for a few days in between we had some friends around as well so I wasn't doing anything that week and I wasn't doing anything last week so it's been like two or three weeks since I've worked on anything content wise so I need to try and get back into the flow and I've got a bunch of stuff that's been sent over from various different people I have this to check out soon as well for the DS, one of the uh, a new DS flashcard. I don't know where I put it now. It's here somewhere. So we'll check that out again soon as well. And the cool thing about that is that you can use it in a 3DS as well. So I can actually put that capture card in my modded um, video out. 3DS and actually stream some... Oh, apparently I'm not allowed to jump down there. Okay. Is there uh, saves? Load. Let's see. Did I get to a save point? Apparently not. Better start again from the beginning then. Okay. Think of this as a, a practice. Let's go. Kind of reminds you of Metal Slug. Without a gun. I'm really surprised at how dark this game is. They clearly didn't build it in mind of people actually playing it on original hardware. Because it would just be impossible to see anything. Oh, something else exciting. Well, obviously not as exciting as proposing, but I got press tickets to go to WASD in London in a few weeks time, so I'll be going there and making a video too. Hopefully doing some interviews with some game developers. That'll be really cool. And I'm actually going to London for a few days um, before that as well to go and see some YouTubers that I enjoy uh, on a channel called Watcher. They'll, they'll be there in person in theatre, so we're going to go and watch them first. There's a lot to look forward to, and then MCM in May, and another holiday with friends in between that as well, so it is a very busy few weeks and months ahead, but it's all very exciting stuff. And I'm going to take my Osmo Pocket around some more, do some vlogs for the second channel. I love this little thing so much. It's so cool, and the way you can flip the screen out like that, and then it, it comes on and and you can vlog with it. 
It's so nice. And yeah, I took this with me on the weekend. And I'm basically just carrying it around in my pocket everywhere I go now. If I go anywhere interesting. So I expect to see more stuff on the second channel because I do enjoy editing those like laid black back vlog style videos. Did I come this way before? I think I did. I have to use the rope again. Yeah. You have to be very careful in this game then. Oh no! <gasps> Don't kill me. That would be too unfair. Oh, okay, that was just a flashback. Present day. Looks the same. Before that was 15 years ago, apparently. Chapter 1, Home Sweet Home. This is cool. For the last 15 years, Sebastian Madsen has been searching for his missing father. If you jump, you die, but in a cutscene, you survive. Yeah, that makes sense. Returning home, Sebastian uh, sets about uncovering the truth of the lost treasure. Where am I now? Is this his house? He does have a bit of a weird walking animation, doesn't he, with his arm like that. Is his house a maze? I hope I'm not expected to remember where I've been. Uh, yeah, I presume this is the guy's son who just fell down that pit 15 years ago. And I'm guessing he's just going to find a skeleton down there if he uh, if he finds out where his father was. Am I not allowed to do that one? Okay. Sometimes you press up, sometimes you press down. The lift isn't responding. All oh, this is in his house? How rich was his dad? Well, I guess he was a treasure dad. How many washing machines does he need? A fine selection of washing machines. Okay. There's something here. An ultraviolet torch. What do I need an ultraviolet torch for? There's a manhole. Maybe there's a way to pry it open. Maybe I can use the torch. Do I have an inventory or anything? Uh, I have some empty shelves, apparently. Whatever I can do with them. Right. I've got a torch, but it didn't give me any indication of how to use it. Okay, you can press A and interact with some things. Boxes of my old childhood toys. So interact and jump is the same button, so I might just be jumping around a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's going to get lost just in a washing machine. There's a generator, should I turn it on? Yes. Okay, does that mean the lift's going to work now? Let's give it a go. Oh my god, this place is... I guess it's in the basement? Let's see what's going on here. Classic storyline. Fell into a washing machine. 15 years later, my dad... My son found me in a washing machine. An assortment of mixed items, but nothing appears to be useful. I look tired. Yeah. True. I had to go back to work today. Boo. The collection of items gathered in my father's travels, but nothing appears to be useful. What was he gathering? Just junk. A uh, collection of travel magazines. What is this weird house layout? Cupboard's empty. I don't really understand uh, what I'm meant to be doing. <laughs> Yay, thanks for the follow. Uh, ah, I missed your name. For some reason, OBS isn't telling me who followed after they follow. It just disappears off the screen. So thank you. And write, write something in the chat so I can see who you are. Well, I appreciate it. I've been away for a while, so it's nice to come back and have 
like people I'm here to talk to and people following me and stuff straight away. Um, and soon, actually, maybe next week, but I kind of want to wait until I've got like a week or two free, but I'm just going to pop back on camera for a second and show you something very exciting that I'm going to be streaming soon. I was planning to do this today, but I thought I'll wait until I've got like enough time to play it all the way through. Look what I've got. All four discs. There it is. Finally. Panzer Dragoon Saga. And maybe I'm going to play it after MCM in, in May now, because basically every weekend up until start of June, I guess is kind of busy and then I'll be at work all day but I wanted to have a good I don't know five or six hour stream playing that one weekend so maybe in June we can start playing Panzer Dragoon Saga it might be difficult to pronounce but I can give it a go uh, I'm gonna butcher this so bad Jugal Jugal Pinball <laughs> Jungal Pinball I have no idea I'm sorry I'm so sorry I really don't know where I'm supposed to be going or what I'm supposed to be doing Go back to the elevator, I guess, and go up more, maybe. Close enough. I'm sure it wasn't. But thank you for being kind. <laughs> anyway, what's this really long corridor? Where am I going? Let's just go around in a circle. Oh no, there's something new. Let's see what's down here. Another generator? Or is that the same one? Well, that one's not interactive, anyway. A somewhat battered bike with a broken chain. Oh no. Oh, we're back here again. Okay, it is the same place. Well, let's try first floor. Was all that on the ground floor? What am I even looking for? Pressing start doesn't tell me anything. Assortment of mixed items. I was expecting an action game, but this is just like a weird adventure game where nothing happens. I don't understand the design of this. Space Age Hero, hello! Uh, welcome to the stream. For some reason, it won't let me go through that door, but it lets me go through all the other ones with arrows on. Let's check on the other side of the elevator. <laughs> He's got to check every single wardrobe, every single bookshelf, every single washing machine, just in case he finds his dad. Did we find something? The music changed. I got something. Yay. What? What did I get? A light? An E-tank? What am I looking at? I have no idea. Why can't I interact with these? These seem like they're more important. Oh, okay. I can interact with that one. And use the UV torch on it, apparently. The UV light has revealed the number three. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that. Okay, that one says two. Right. Okay, remember this chat. Three, two, five. Three, two, five, four. Okay. There must be something I have to type that in on. Let's see if there's anything else worth interacting with first. 
have been this way. Found the bathroom. Now's not the time to take us out. But maybe his dad's in the bath, how will he know? Maybe his dad's in the toilet. What is this house layout? Why are the corridors like ten times longer than the actual rooms themselves? Who would want to sit in a corridor on three armchairs next to each other? What is this house? Oh, I can't go through that door. And it's not giving me the option to type in a code or anything. Maybe I should try playing the Team Raider games for the Game Boy Color at some point, because I keep being told they're really good. And I am working on a Game Boy Color top games video as well. Right, second floor. I really should have wrote those numbers down. There's a weird painting of what looks like the pea shooter from Plants vs. Zombies. Nothing in here at all? Three, two, four, five. I'll take your word for it, Magpie One, thank you. Found another bath. A rather large bath. Okay, is his dad in there? And another toilet. That's it. There's nothing to do here, what? So, what does everyone think of this game so far? It's definitely not what I was expecting. I was expecting like an action game collecting treasures and things, but it's, uh, it might come to that. Have there been any surprises for my Game Boy list? Games you've discovered. Well, there's a few that I want to try and get my hands on first, which I'm hoping are good. But the problem is, and I've put this problem on myself and it's entirely my fault, but I want to have the physical versions of the games before I do the video. So there's some games on the list that I've never played, but I think they could be good. And maybe I should put them on the EverDrive first to test them out, but... There was one that looks like a really cool robot fighting game in the style of Pokemon called Metal Walker, I think. So I'm really looking forward to checking that one out. Let me see what else is on the list. There was a few other interesting ones that I found that I want to try and get a hold of. Um, let's see, consoles, Game Boy Color. I'm doing two different lists. I'm doing Game Boy Color exclusive, like these ones, the C3 ones. And then I'm doing Game Boy and Game Boy Color compatible. So I want to try and get Blaster Master as well for the Game Boy Color. That looks good. And Stranded Kids, but that one's really expensive. Um, Crystalis or Crystalis, however you pronounce it as well. And there is one more which I did get my hands on, which I'm planning to stream soon. Uh, it's over there somewhere. Daikatana, if anyone's heard of that game. I know the PC and N64 game was quite bad, apparently, but apparently the Game Boy Color one is actually really good. And it was made by a, a Japanese developer, and it's sort of styled after Link's Awakening, so. Really looking forward to checking that one out at some point. I'll definitely play that on stream as well. Crystalis is awesome. Yeah, well, apparently it's a, a NES game as well, but it never came out in the UK, so I never had the chance to play it or experience it. And the other one that I was looking for as well is Lufia 3. Uh, I can't remember whether it has a subtitle or not. But I know I loved number two on the SNES. So I want to try and get that on the Game Boy Color as well. I really want to get somewhere in this game, but there's no map, there's no meaning behind anything. Okay, let's just go back to the entrance. Let's try going through these doors. We'll get somewhere eventually, right?
Oh, I didn't see what that said. The window is partially open. Will you climb through it? Okay. Hey, are we making progress? Oh, slightly. Oh, no. Don't tell me I just have to scour the house and collect all of these. That's 12 things to find and I've got two. Yeah, I don't know whether I will be doing many more of these if the rest of the game's like this. Or maybe Dad's on the roof. We can go and we can go and have a look. There must be more places to go. Let's keep wandering around on this bottom floor first. So I just have to keep mashing A and hope that I'm interacting with something. An ancestral portrait, okay. Not a pea shooter from Plants vs. Zombies. There's so many rooms with nothing in, they could have just taken most of these out of the game. Nothing appears to be useful. Found the elevator again. going left this time. I think we found the dining room. I remember my mother standing at the seven. It's a good memory. <laughs> okay. Can't worry. The fridge is empty. Oh no. Uh, do we go up or down? Let's go this way. Another empty room. I'm surprised he ever found his mum at the at the oven if he had to go through this maze to get there. Have we been down here before? Nope. It just looks like we have. Oh, we have. Okay. We've been there before. That will take us back to the elevator again. Uh, we can go right, though. Let's see what's over here. I remember to keep jumping just in case something's interactive. Is that where we just came from? Well, we've just gone round in a big circle. <laughs> Gotta find somewhere to put that code in, I guess. <laughs> Maybe the house is so big that he's just been walking around for 15 years. That is a possibility as well. Shall we try and get to the roof? I do have some other interesting things to show you guys later, so we will get on to some more interesting stuff in a bit, but I wanted to give this a good a good try first so I know what to say about it. It's a shame I can't play the NES game, but I couldn't get it to work. Find a bed. Is his dad in bed? You can't interact with that at all, but you can interact with the bathtubs. Why? Awards for Father's Scientific Contributions. No wonder he can afford such a big house. But there's nothing there. Wait, there's two bedrooms next to each other like that that are exactly the same. Doesn't seem like there's any way to get on the roof. I can't believe I'm not finding anything. Look how much stuff there is to find. The 
bottom of the bath. I guess we've already been here. Okay, I guess we scour the first floor now. I there's something to do with this door, but it won't open. I thought I'd be exploring Peru, not some guy's house. Anyone got any ideas of where I can go next? That looks suspicious. No, it's just a chest of drawers with a plant on the top, I guess. Right, I'm done with this game. That's it. Let's play something else. Okay, that was bad. That was really bad. I feel bad that people send me these games and they're just... I don't understand the thought process behind that. Anyway, let's try the other drive and we can check out some... Cancel.